Oh, oh, oh now, now wait a minute. Do you get to use the Holocaust in your silly little comic book story? Really doesn't seem fair, but I guess they're doing it. And when are you gonna do this? Okay, from Schindler's List to the OC, just like that. I don't know. I just touched it. That's why I find it's best to avoid <laughs> girls altogether and oh, just play goodness. endless games of Tomb Raider. <laughs> And I ask only one thing in return. You don't laugh when I put on the big pointy wizard's hat. Don't get in my way. Ah, so he has retractable metal claws that punch through his flesh, just like a real Wolverine. <laughs> right, just, just like a real Wolverine. Get out of my bar, freak. Please, he's a super freak. Super freak. He's super freaky. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, and his metal retractable claws can easily cut through hardened steel. Just like a real Wolverine. Just like a real one, exactly. Well, gotta go to the feed store and get a bag of Purina Wolverine chow. I'm not sure the Martin Van Buren mutton chops quite cut it anymore, now that it's not 1825 and all. You know, I, I think you should consider a beard with no mustache for a fresher, more 1863 type of look. Right. It's Beaker. Must be the Muppet Labs. Hey, Gandalf's hipped it up a little bit. What happened? They knew. Well, doesn't that just poof my hair out? Oh yeah, I did the same thing at my first colonoscopy. My first one. <laughs> Doesn't he have to get back to the University of Michigan and start being their mascot? <laughs> so, I'd like your definitions of weak and strong anthropic principles on my desk on Wednesday, all right? That'll be all. Oh, and uh, make it so. <laughs> this is Scott Summers, Hello. also called Cyclops. It's also called stinky cabbage farts or old crusty drawers. They saved your life. I believe you've already met Dr. Jean Grey. Also called Booby. You're in my school for the gifted. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Then you haven't seen X-Men 3. <laughs> so any fan of X-Men is a lot like Rogue, incapable of physical human contact. Mm hmm. Where the hell are we? Dave, have you always been blue and hot and slash creepy? So, couldn't wait to get my shirt off again, huh? I think the best thing she could do to retaliate would be to take her shirt off. Mm -hmm. Scott, burp a pillow. <laughs> burp a pillow? Hmm. It was an accident. Your career, Halle Berry, just an accident of genetics. Well, mutant or not, that's just remarkably stupid. <laughs> How are we feeling, Senator? Advanced, I hope. And if not advanced, at least sort of gay and British? No, huh? Well, you hire a guy named Sabretooth, you're gonna get what you deserve. You just watch, though. My prediction? He's gonna be governor of Minnesota someday. Oh, he'd be a shoe in Wow. An ugly person on the beach. Isn't that illegal? I think it'll be easier on your own. And we'll call you on your own O. Okay, that's, that's kind of enough of that, Mike. You, you should go, oh. Mike, what did I just say? Sorry. Welcome, Professor. It's Mrs. Disembodio. Welcome to Cerebro. Thank you, O. Oh. Storm, Cyclops, find her. See if you can talk to her. And just in case, bring along Kidnappo. Mike, I thought we had an agreement. Hey, kid. Hooded capes went out of style about 600 years ago. The first boy I ever kissed. Ended up in a coma for three weeks. Well, next time, brush your teeth first. Yeah. I can still feel. I hate my little Red Riding Hood outfit. <laughs> you look like a dark. What the hell do you want with me? You, <laughs> my dear boy. Whoever said I wanted you? I'm looking for Frodo Baggins. Oh, Cerebro. Magneto. Release me. This is my spawning season and you don't have a license. I dreamt I was Seth Green. Oh, 
by Charles. My kicky purple helmet and cape are out of here. The traditional way, look. Hey, that's a knock on Cerebro, you ass. Cerebro. Logan, you can't do this. Senator, you're really filibustering my balls. I want you to try and relax. Accept your sphincter. Don't relax that, please. I'm not going to hurt you. Just sniff your hair a bit. <laughs> what a phony! He does that just to scam disability checks. Magneto. Cerebro. Cerebro. The machine emits radiation that... He's going to transfer his power to Rogue and use her to power the machine. Cerebro. Magneto. Is somebody there? I'm guessing it's Cerebro. Or Magneto. Cerebro. Yes. I love pretending I'm an ant. Cerebro. Magneto. Uh, Professor, two words for you. Safety rails? When maintaining your Cerebro, always remember to use only genuine Cerebro parts. Cerebro. I need her. <laughs> you can still hear me. Can't you? Cerebro. That's, that's a real subtle name, too. I mean, you almost called it Brains a Poppin'. Or... Uh, He's taught me everything in my life that is ever worth knowing. Okay, so she's a shapeshifter. I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the clothes? What? What? Does it grow out of her skin? Apparently. Big hand grenade there. She's just bitter because they threw her out of the Blue Man Group. I wonder why. Oh, the breasts and the estrogen and yeah. whatnot, right? Magnificent, isn't she? Magnetosant! I've seen it. <laughs> so deep. Put it in the machine. Magnet. Oh, it was here. God. Liberty Island. Now, presumably, the professor spent millions on this. It requires constant maintenance. The operating side. system's always crashing. Yeah, and you always have to sweep those little things off the floor. The and he could have just used a dry erase board for this whole power. thing. He could wipe out everyone in New York City. All right, we can insert here at the George Washington Bridge. Come around the bank. <laughs> okay, now he's just showing off. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> here. You actually go outside in these things. What would you prefer? Yellow spandex. Oh, Marvel Comics fans everywhere just doubled their heart rates. A young Napoleon Dynamite looks on. The unstealth fight. <laughs> so what, does she make that crown there out of her hair? I, I just don't get the mechanics of this... There's someone chain. here. Yeah, see the claws. But where does the blue lady get the claws? She just happens to have them in her purse? She's, uh, magic or something, I don't know. Yeah, and he can jump all over the walls and stick, just like a real toad. Getting his ass kicked by a girl from Cirque du Soleil. She's, uh, she's kinda nude. Oh, I noticed. And she didn't do this before, why? Logan, is, is that, that you? Shh, I'm taking a wolver dump. <laughs> okay, like, so how'd she grow a cape? I, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Just, just cheeses me off. Everybody get out of here. What is it? I got a fart. I can't move. Soon our fate will be theirs. Not need to. Serena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Up, up, and a gay! That's a cheap shot. Oh, thank you. Saruman put him up to this, didn't he? Hang on to something. Not my breast, you jerk. She has the mighty power of an average-sized oscillating fan. So she just grew a gun on her hip, somehow? You gotta let that go, man. This time she grew glasses. Well, in fairness, maybe she bought a pair this time. Okay. Foosball. It's kind of a cheap game, right? Well, he blew a good chunk of the year's budget on Cerebro. But not Magneto. Not Magneto. Cerebro. 
Well, Cerebro. Well, Magneto, I guess. Cerebro. Hey, that's it, folks. Uh, I want to thank you for joining this very special Riff Tracks with uh, Bill Corbett. Bill, thanks again for helping me out. It was a pleasure, Cerebro. Oh, and thank you, Magneto. Until next time, this has been Cerebro. No, it's been Riff Tracks.